are we filming? What's up, Johnny? Hey. Hey, guys. Today is, uh, what's the date today? Today's the day before the protest. Today is uh, <laughs> June 3rd. Wednesday. Uh, we haven't hit curfew yet. But before curfew, we got to do one thing. <laughs> hey. Teach me grappling here. And uh, tonight we're going to work a move that you can use for uh, looters, violent mob protesters, maybe a deranged brother, cousin, maybe your significant other gets out of control and is upset, uh, the dog, cat, your chewini, and um, you know, the local bum, vagrant, transient, uh, your fellow coach. Sometimes your teammates get out of control and you got to control them. This move can apply in the gym, on the mats, and out of the mats. Let me show you here. And uh, there we go. What are we gonna do, bro? All right, here. here, here, here. <laughs> okay, you got it? Yeah. All right, come here, Johnny. Oh, okay. we're fucking, just come on, come on. Uh, rocks, yeah. bricks. Oh, man. Crazy crowd. Here hey, man. Okay. Get your mask, get your mask. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Here, here here's. <laughs> Here's what I showed tonight, okay? Um, we have this guy, we take the guy down. Boop, boop, bam! He falls down, and you guys are always getting this guy on the bottom who's defensive, okay? So, hey guys, can you guys keep it down, please? Just keep it down a little bit, the, the noise level, boys? Just keep the noise level down, please? Thank you. So like, you've got the arms, the arms are in, right? This guy's got his arms in, and it's like hard to, like, you can't just, Go for submission. You know, it, it's not like I can just, unless he's dumb, like say John's dumb and he pushes, like he bench presses. No, no, just like this. He bench, yeah, you could hop up and take an arm bar, you know, but I can't exactly do that if the guy's elbows are in. It's hard to just get something and go for it. So I don't even have the underhook. Like his arms are in. I might be under his elbow a little bit, but he has a frame. Immediately, I'm gonna post up right here and get to my knee on belly, okay? So knee on belly, I grab his neck, I post my hand right here on his hip, and I'm riding with my, my knee on the inside of my wrist. See that? It's on the inside of my wrist, so that this is all making a connection, okay? I'm not putting my knee up here. I'm, I'm keeping it connected to my arm, so that this is here, so that when John tries to move, and also, this leg is stretched, it's not too close. It's stretched out in the on belly. So when John moves around, like try to move, and bump and trip, yeah, you see, I'm in control. I have really good control right here. Next, notice his hand, he starts to push. Even if he's smart, he'll keep his elbow in, but you see how his hand is pushing like this, go ahead, bump. Yeah, you see, now watch. I put my knee like this. Now, I already have a series um, somewhere in this channel where I do this, but this is what we taught tonight, so I wanted to show you and share. Watch this, guys. Even if he decides with the space here to get the underhook, like to try to move, try to move, John. Look at how hard that is, you see that? It's really hard, right? I've got my hand on your hip, and I'm here. I step on his hand or his wrist. Keep moving, John, so you can feel. See that? Now, I staple, so I move my knee, from here to here, as John's trying to turn on his side, I can push his head between. Now, even if he wants a single leg, go for single leg, I always have the option, guys, of dropping my elbow and coming like this into the Kimura. So I could drop like that, like if he was very strong at getting up, even if he tries to make it to his knees, it's really hard, you see? Yeah. And if you just, you catch him right here, you just lock it up and you get the Kimura and then Boom, you get the tap out, okay? So now I've got John on his side right here. He's like defensive. He's a, you know, he's a tough guy. Like you just pin this guy down, but he's starting to get better. He, look at his hands are good. He could push me, he could bump, he could trip. So don't let him make the move. The move is for you to make. When you're in this position, he's pushing you. Pop the knee up on the belly, grab onto the head. Look at my hand right here. Leg is outstretched. A lot of the beginners, they put their knee like this. Don't do this, and don't put your knee on the mat. Like keep your knee, like open your hip right here. That way when he's bumping me and moving me, like I'm pretty strong. 
Now you see the arm. I cross, swipe, step on his hand, even if he goes for underhook. See, he's coming towards you like this. Another way to control him before he gets on his side is to take this hand either between the legs or here. I like even better. But if I miss the bottom leg, like scissor your legs, like you're turning over, yeah. I could take this and control him here. Now, you notice, even though he has an underhook, he can't really like try to move. Like, see? And then right here, I've got a cross face. So the cross face will help you too. I can cross face and keep him down. Then I can move my hand here to the doorstop. And then you just climb over the head. And look, his arm is here. He's trying to protect it. See? But where is it going to go? See, he's trying to grab my leg, whatever he wants. It's right there, I grab onto the wrist and I work my hand through that hole, boom. If he locks his hands, you can't get it. We've got tons of options. One of them being the scissor choke, lay down on my side and I go straight to the lock. My bottom leg is on top of my top leg. So the leg that's choking goes underneath the right leg in this case so that I can get a good squeeze. Make sure you have a nice pillow for his head with your leg. You should never have your leg under his back like this. You'll never choke him. You'll, it'll be very easy for him when you're trying to squeeze your legs to tuck his chin. It'll be very easy. If you slide down where it's a pillow for his head, he's going to be in trouble. Okay? What do you think, John? That's a good move. Real good move. Yeah? I like that series. So, again, what, what's great about this is that beginners... You guys usually just manhandle, you know? Like, like beginners will do this when they first start jujitsu. They'll get into side control, and the guy might frame, and then they'll just kind of like wrestle, and wrestle this arm down and go for submissions. But everybody understands once you've been training a while, John, you just kind of push that elbow, you know, with yeah. your hand, and then he clears the arms, and he, it's gonna lead to an escape. He's gonna hit that sit-up escape. He's gonna, he's gonna do something. So instead of trying to arm wrestle with a guy, I want to get this near elbow stapled. And again, my favorite way to do it, well, I have two, two ways that I really like that I always teach on my channel. One of them is walking the hip and then getting myself into here. So you get his elbow out, the elbow out principle. Once I get his elbow out, now I can dominate it a lot better. And then we have the method we're doing today. Knee on belly, and then you just cross swipe. Even if you keep your elbows in like this, watch. See, I put that, I put that there, it's really tough. And it looks like he can go to my back. Go to my back. See how like my foot right here gives me base. So try to go to your knees. Even if he starts to go, I can cover the head and come around the head and catch that Kimura right there. Now you guys are in this position, John tries to turn towards his back and I'm pushing pressure forward. I'm not letting him get his elbow out. He would love, to slip the elbow to the floor and I'll lose it. So once you're here, you just get your chest behind it and now he's in trouble, you cover the head. And then when you get the, uh, is it Antifa jump? Yeah. The Antifa, the looter, the peaceful protester <laughs> turned violent. Yeah, it could, be, it could be anyone who gets crazy. Then you gotta get them in the Kamor. Make sure you look around so you make sure that his friends don't come from behind. Grappling can be very dangerous when you're fighting thousands of looters, as we saw. Uh, never use a bow and arrow or a sword. Um, get that Kimura, finish him. All right, John, that was all comic, was comic relief. Yeah. To try to, yeah. This is horrible, guys. Can we get, can we get some, uh, can we get America back on track, John? Let's get back on the mats. It's misdirected got, aggression. It's all, Frustration. It's all, guys, it's training. We're not training, we're locked up. I'm not saying that, that, that if we weren't locked up that these people wouldn't go crazy because there's just bad people in the world too, but man, it certainly aggravates a lot of people. We need everybody in the world to do jujitsu or wrestling or like some type of martial arts discipline because so many people just don't have discipline. They don't have it. They don't have it. They, then you have no respect. That's the great thing about the martial arts. Once you train in the martial arts, you have respect. You don't do that to your own community or anyone else's. 
Man, it's horrible, John. Not good. Not good what's going on. So tomorrow we're going to have our own protest going on in our town, and we're going to have to uh, defend the fort. You ready, John? Do you think I should teach me grappling now tomorrow, teach, teach at, me the, grappling tomorrow. at the protest? Peaceful yeah. demonstrations. Right, that's what we're shooting for. Peaceful yeah. demonstrations. Hopefully, hopefully everything's going to go smooth tomorrow, guys. Um, uh, um, again, we're here in Valencia, California, so um, it's going to hit us tomorrow. So hopefully everything's going to go smooth. It's not going to get crazy. I don't know. I might see you guys tomorrow. Maybe not. So, guys, please click like, share this video if you enjoyed, if this helped you. And let everybody know this is the place to uh, get some good technique. Teach me grappling. We're out.